how in 2022 leaning into next year already do you build a strong employer brand so that you could attract the right talent for the right roles the best way to do that is to do stay interviews stay interviews can help you improve your brand because too often, the only interviews that people do are the employment interview and the exit interview, if they get a chance. Nowadays, you don't even get a chance to do an exit interview. People just walk off the job. But stay interviews are, are just once a quarter, you have somebody in the company take your employees out to lunch. It shouldn't be their direct supervisor, shouldn't be anybody in HR, just somebody who's maybe a little level above them. And just take your employees to lunch and say, we just want to know why you stay here. We really value you. You're such a great employee. Why do you stay working for us? Why do you enjoy our company? You know, and then is there anything that we can do to improve your job? Anything that would make your job easier? Um, and then whatever they say, you've got to get back to them with feedback. Sometimes you can do what they want. Sometimes you can't do what they want, but at least they knew you tried and it's on the table. It's being, it's being discussed. So I think staying interviews are really can help your brand because your, 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 your company culture and your reputation and your brand is not what you have on your website. You know, in fact, I, I love when companies just spew their brands to me at the CEO conference. All the CEOs are telling me their brand. And I said, is that what's on your website? And they go, yeah. I said, what do your employees say behind your back? Because that's really your brand. And then what are you talking about? I go, well, and if you say you're an environment, you, know, you really love the environment, do you give people time off to, you know, work at causes for the environment? Do you donate? Wherever, whatever you say your priorities are, that's where you dedicate time and money. So your brand and your culture is really what your employees say about you behind your back. But if you give your current employees a chance to talk about what they like and what they love to see improved, you got to start empowering your employees and listening to their feedback, you know, and then that really, that'll just have that ripple effect and it will improve your brand. So that what you're saying in public is what your employees are also saying behind your back. Also remember, there can be a different culture and a different brand on different locations if you're a large company. A department can have a different culture. In a, you know, you can have a company that's great. The sales department probably has a much different culture than the accounting department. You know, it, it's just it's the different the different type of person you're hiring. But brand is something you've got to work at twenty four seven. And another thing to do: have your employees when they say why they love working for you, have them pull out their phone, have them pull up their phone and say, "Would you do a video? We'd love to highlight you on our website as one of our employees that we just love. Would you be willing to do a video?" And if they're a millennial or Gen Z, me, I would probably, you know, I, I wouldn't know where to hold it, but they love to make videos and ask them to make a video that you put on your website. And that it helps attract referrals. And again, you know, if you've got a great company brand, also by the amount of employee referrals you're getting. So that also shows you what kind of brand you have. Some really great ideas. Thank you, Barbara.